Good morning, everyone. Strafe Gal. We're going to be continuing Final Fantasy IV Ultima, but before I get into whatever comes next, I have been poking around the wiki trying to figure out what all we have left to do. And it seems like there's a lot. <laughs> so, um, before I really get into the grind of trying to figure out what all we have and what all we need to do, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of a grind for myself. Um, there's a couple items that I want to try and get my hands on that are either apparently stealable eh? uh, or are like farmable as common items. And there are some items that I don't think are available to, to buy that I'd like to get my hands on as well. Um, like usable items, like the, uh, uh, like, like Hermes sandals and Bacchus wine, uh, that we're starting to run a little bit low on. Uh, Silkwebs would be another big one that we are completely out of right now, and I think they're somewhere, I don't remember where. So, I'm going to be taking a short break here. It'll be nothing to you, but it's it if my uh, if my game looks significantly different when I come back, <clears throat> that is why. Um, I'm looking for seraphic shields. I am looking for um, other uh, possibly dark hoods if I can figure out where to get another one. Um. Ribbons is another possibility. Like, there's a lot of options here, and it seems like a lot of them are accessible from enemies that I've already fought. So, not going to be doing anything new, but I'm going to be revisiting a lot of stuff off, off camera, and then we'll be uh, reconvening after. So, we'll see you shortly. Wish me luck. Okay, so we've gotten quite a few levels in this grind, but more importantly, we got some items. So I'm going to start with the, the basics. Between shops and enemies that you can steal from, I've gotten my hands on silk webs, Hermes uh, sandals, Bacchus wines, uh, we already had whiskers, I think, but elf cloaks, light veils, the whole nine yards. Uh, we got our hands on several seraphic shields. And do a quick, uh, just look around here. Uh, Minerva's. I think he's still got pretty much the same setup. Uh, we've got Golbez pretty kitted out here. Uh, currently, we have Cecil on the Thor Hammer, and then balanced out with like Zeus Gauntlets, Crystal, uh, to make him immune to as much as possible. And Rydia is pretty much gonna have the same gear for most of this. Now, the other thing that I did, so I cleaned out my storage first, but I realized after the fact I did probably gotten rid of some stuff that I didn't really have good replacements for. So I went looking and was able to find a few interesting items. So in addition to, like, I've got Aegis shields that prevent petrification. So if we run into an enemy, like, a... if there's one thing I learned from playing Final Fantasy VI uh, T Edition, it's that when you get into these super boss fights, you need to have a plan going in. Uh, the other thing that I picked up is silver gear and headbands. 
And these are for a specific fight that I've already seen. Uh, which is... I mean, I'll probably use them for more than that, but the one in question is the goddess fight. Uh, headbands, while they are going to be much lower physical defense than what we've got, prevent charm, which is huge in a fight where the boss uses charm. Uh, the other one, the, all three of these pieces of silver gear have holy and dark resistance, which I'm pretty sure I don't actually... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't actually have anything else that does that. The other thing that I have that I haven't been using is these cursed rings that I picked up pretty early on. Cursed ring lowers your, all of your stats by 15. It's generally not good. However, it also lets you absorb whatever elements that you are strong against. So if you equip the cursed ring and let's say a dragon shield, you absorb fire, ice, and light. Or in the case of uh, that's why I got three different silver slot items, because I'm not sure if I want to be which slots I'm going to be taking up. I picked up the silver helmets and then I was like, oh, but I want these headbands. Then we can do the shields. You get it. We'll be messing with that more a bit later. Uh, yeah, the silver rings you can't equip with a crystal, basically. And you can't equip the silver helmets with headbands. However, we're not getting into the goddess fight quite yet. For now, we are going to be taking on Raiden. Who is right here at the entrance. It's one of the bosses I skipped on the way down in my first time into the Lunar Subterrain. I want to give it another shot because I kind of gave up on it pretty quick and I don't think I have a good... I don't think I've had a good uh, attempt. Oh, also, we're using Golbez, which is just so ridiculously cool. So, last time we tried using Scan and it didn't really give us much. He told us he didn't have any weaknesses. Hmm. And apparently he's still killing us in one shot. Um, one of the things that I was thinking about, though, is I don't have... I wasn't using, um... I didn't try using lightning. And I figured there may be some other benefit to it, since that's how you fight Odin. So we're going to see if we can get a, a shot off. All of his spells are slow. That's not going to do it. Okay. This is why I gave up. <laughs> but I think there's more likely a trick than there is you're just supposed to beat him. Um, do I have... trying to think if there's anything else that might give that sort of ability. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of lightning-based weapons right now.
Use cast ice, use cast holy. Okay. I'm assuming the Thor hammer does lightning. I don't know for sure, I guess. Maybe I should check that too. Yeah, lightning magic. seem to do anything, but he hadn't raised the sword yet, either. Let's see if we can force this still. There we go. Oh, still does that imagine. Okay. But we survive it. Perfect. So I'm assuming every time he raises his sword, we just have to get a lit off before he can attack, and we should be good. Cool. That I can do. Fuck a swine. Oh, he's got the crystal armor equipped. Yeah, this is definitely a doable fight. I'm very glad we came back to it. Yeah. A lot of these I just skipped over very quickly. Wow, that's a lot of flashing. A lot of these I skipped over very quickly because I didn't... Because so I was trying to make progress and get... Collect all the items so we knew what we had available. And now that I have all of my stuff available... Now that I have... Like, all the items that, I could, that I've picked up so far, I've gone through a bunch of different areas... I've gotten to the bottom once, we've got Golbez unlocked as a playable character, question mark? <laughs> um, all of that makes me feel a lot more confident that I can come up with strategies to fight bosses, because I have either the equipment or the other tools that I need. In this case, it was something easier. But it is what it is. By the way, I just wanted to say 
anyone ever told me that I would be playing FF4 with Edward and Golbez in my party, I would probably not have believed them. And that's... And, and I play randomizer, so it's not like I, I'm not used to somewhat weird Final Fantasy IV. But yeah, Golbez is actually really good. Edward is really good. Um, Edward's finally has enough hit points that he's, you know, decent. <laughs> Let's see what the reward for this is. Your light shines brilliantly, Cecil. The world depends on you. I shall wait for you on the Lunar Whale. Come see me when you wish to learn about the true nature of light and darkness. As always, summon me as you need. I shall fight by your side. Uh, okay. Cecil learned a new spell. Tier 3. Me. Okay. Um, so it's a high power. Uh, Raiden is a high power version of Rama, pretty much. It's like almost Bahamut level. Actually, that might almost be worth using just because it's faster to cast if the enemy is not strong against it. Yeah. I mean, I'll also say Cecil getting access to tier 3 is also pretty cool. Let's hop back to the Lunar Whale and see what he was talking about. I guess that's more of a walk than I was thinking, but oh well. Not that far. Getting pretty good at this. <laughs> little route. Almost like I've done it a couple times. Darkness does not necessarily equate evil. Let your dark powers unleash. Oh! Oh! Okay. That is so cool. Okay, let's take a quick look at what he can, at what he, how that works. So he keeps his level, switches to black magic, which is mediocre at best, looks like. And his equipment changes to probably be similar to what Gulbez can equip, I would assume. And he can dual wield. And unlike Edge, he has a lot more options for dual wielding. That's kind of ridiculous. It's 
And you can still equip Seraphic Shield or something along those lines if you want to. Okay. So... I like... Cecil... Honestly, I like Big Guard. Buffs feel very important in this, but having that option also feels really good. And with what I was just talking about with fighting Goddess... Um, I mean, I guess it's, it's either Cecil could, could function, but having options with, uh, having more options with, uh, Holy Resistance feels like it could be very good. Um, I do think the next... I'm not sure. Goddess was really scary. And currently only a couple people can do my plan. Um, I think we're gonna have to do a little bit more strategizing here. Uh, these videos are going to be a lot more... There aren't a lot of areas left to explore. So I think what a lot of the other things we're going to be doing for the next chunk of videos is fighting bosses. And it's going to involve strategy or strategy sessions and then once I've spent time re-equipping everything, uh, it can be other stuff. Uh, like what we just did with Raiden, where we tried fighting him several times. So, I'm going to mess with some party options, but at this point, that's going to be for next time. So, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe, check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.